Hello everyone, Rahul Naya with the Golden Gate Lotus Club. We're here with Wolf Zimmerman, who's the CTO of Lotus. And he's been here helping do the unveil at the LA Auto Show of the entire Lotus range. And we, he's kindly consented to take a few minutes of his time to talk to us today. So thank you so much, Wolf. And uh, starting off, I know you're, you've only recently joined the company from AMG. How do you like the new culture at Lotus, which I'm assuming as a smaller company is probably a little bit different than AMG? Yeah, of course, Lotus is a little bit different, but it's not really small, you know. When I stepped out of AMG, it was around about 1,000 people working for AMG. Mm -hmm. And Lotus, we in Hayden, we're around about 1,500 people at the moment. Okay. Of course, in case uh, we're doing the uh, production of the vehicle, uh, it's a lot of blue color people inside, yep. so it's a little bit different from AMG, because at AMG we had a, it was more or less a development company yep. at AMG, because we do all these cars in yep. Sindelfing, or so at Mercedes, or in Bremen, and all these uh, Mercedes cars. Yep. So, but uh, I think, you know, after maybe working 20 years for AMG, doing yep. all this stuff, same position in that AMG, I think uh, Lotus, if you see this new car, yep. it's, it's, it was so easy to decide to go to Lotus because uh, the first day I was very you know, talking to Danny and uh, then he was thinking, come on, we go down, we go downstairs, we look through the cars in the design, in the design studio and I met Donato first time and we talked about the cars and all they're working on here, just on the Elite. Yep. And it was so cool and then okay, I, I joined the company. It's, uh, Excellent. So uh, let's start off with some of the, ch so obviously Lotus is going through a lot of changes. One of the big changes to regular Lotus followers is that you're going to be moving towards, away from a composite body and more towards press uh, metal bodies. So what was the thinking behind that and yeah, how does that work? Okay. The main reason to go to for that is of course, you know, that we want to get these more expensive cars for sure, you know. Uh, the customer, the feeling that of course the car is more like the competitors, okay. like as example the Ferrari 458 or the Gallardo, which is also out of complete yep. uh, aluminium. Or if you look to the SLS as an example, we need, we need uh, uh, say from the quality point of view, from how you touch it, how the, the gaps are, yep. all the stuff you, know, you see, yep. that, that needs to be uh, really good done. So it, but it don't says you know, that you don't use composite or carbon foil and yep. all stuff anymore. So if you look as an example to the Elite, mm -hmm. uh, to the Elite, of course, now to the Esprit, the Esprit has very sharp corners. Yep. And stuff. So it, maybe you even, even can't do this in mm -hmm. high performing, high performing is a, uh, or super performing is a, because we need to make very sharp yep. these aluminium structures. But it becomes, of course, the strength of the aluminium. Yep. So maybe, so we will do also some parts out of yep. composite and uh, it, it will not be, uh, that we only do cars and aluminium yep. and things, you know, it belongs to the purpose of the sure. car, what we want to do, you know, and our, one of the biggest targets we also have for all of the cars is lightweight, 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 that we want to sell these, these Lotus USBs, we want to keep yep. in the new cars and that we're going to do with um, aluminium. Yep. And also I did notice a lot of carbon fiber in some of the cars as well. Yeah, good, uh, but you have to uh, remind these cars are all yep. show cars. So, uh, Sure. You can't do any lease with such oh, of course. a lot of carbon, you know, because the carbon will be cost more than the whole car. Yep. So, one of the questions is, so, is the plan to have the body panels, etc. be done in-house, or will you be subcontracting out, or you haven't decided? Yeah, it's like this, you know, uh, at the moment it's so that the Evora and the Elise are the, the body panels made inside of yep. Lotus, it's Lotus cars, like its structures, yep. that is uh, 200 miles from, from our, uh, from Hazel away, uh, but of course, like these cars are from the outside, uh, 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 in, in composite and all yep. these things, you know, it's different to, to the philosophy with aluminium. If you yep. do a complete aluminium car, that means, as an example, that you can't do the, the complete powertrain mm. today, uh, assembled uh, on, on, a, on a different place, you know, mm. where you have the rear frame and yep. put the gearbox and the engine complete together with all the harness, everything, and then the complete rear frame is fit to the car. Yep. This is of course not possible, uh, not feasible if you yep. want to do a complete aluminium car because then you have to put like in a Ferrari yep. you know, the engine from the behind in the yep. vehicle. And this means of course you have to do some different stuff yep. on one side. And on the other side of course, Lotus Lightweight Structure didn't do this 
100 minutes mm. plus up to now. So there could be some philosophy, uh, philosophies to do it in-house. Yep. Then we have to upgrade our own facility. Okay. Or we can do it out of the, our house. There are some good companies yep. right now out of my past and uh, they are really good. And yep. as an example, if you look to Lamborghini, mm. Uh, to here to the SLS, so it's not made in house, yep. it's always made out of the house. Yep. Know, but uh, uh, we have to look for the strength of our company. Sure. And it will be again, it will be a pure Lotus. Yep. Of the day. So, speaking of strengths of the company, one of the things that Lotus has been famous for, at least for the last few years, has been the aluminium chassis, which is extruded aluminum and glued together. Are you going to continue with that? Again, is that yeah, unknown? Yeah, sure, we will continue with that. But on the other side, we have to see, you know, if you look at, as an example for the lease and again for the water, these cars were made at a time, especially the lease, it was 15, more than 15 years ago. Yep. So at this time, 15 years ago, it was like that, you know, that it was easy to be uh, uh, lighter than the, uh, the competitors yep. because all the competitors were out of steel. Yep. Today it's a complete different way, you know, because if you look at the war as an example, the Audi DG is now out of aluminium and and L, so our competitor starts also to go in aluminium. Yep. So what we have to do is, we have to do a, a, a lighter structure than before. Mm -hmm. This means, as an example, extrusion parts that we have today, from the wall ceilings are too mm -hmm. big, you know, and even from the quality of the material, we have to change to new materials yep. to, to, uh, uh, to, to, to reach our targets, you know. Mm -hmm. and it's, uh, so the targets for our body and white, you know, is around about, we say, 250 kilos, that mm -hmm. is a good target for complete aluminium uh, body shell, mm -hmm. including the top, which mm -hmm. is really good. And for these uh, cars, we going in this direction. Okay, so I guess, it's, so would it be fair to say that you're going to continue with extruded aluminum but basically upgrade the processes that are being done no, right it's, now? It's not only extrusion parts, it will be folding, it okay. will be different, it will be super forming parts, hydro okay. form parts, hydro form parts give you a high strength and, sure. and a good uh, uh, size of the form, you know, yep. it means you can be even lighter because you don't have all the intersections. Yep. You know, you can get rid of all this. Yep. Okay. Uh, other questions. Uh, so Lotus Engineering is also part of Group Lotus and does a lot of consultancy work and things like that. Now Lotus, I'm guessing for the next three or four years, is going to be hard at work on these cars. Is, is engineering going to be basically de helping design this? Is they, are they still going to do their own thing? Yeah, what we do now at the moment, of course, we integrate people from Lotus Engineering. Yep. And uh, uh, so it, it's, a, it's a big family. Yep. Know? So what we do is, of course, we work together on the cars and uh, even talk to people from, from Lotus Engineering here in the United States. Yep. Uh, because, like you see, if you have to do five cars in, in such short time, yep. you need every every helping hand to do all this. Stuff, yep. you know? So at the moment, we just very deep in the body and white thing, yep. you know, and together with the power train yep. to, to create a, a good package. Mm -hmm. Because again, we now in the Champions League of, of supercars, yep. like the Ferraris, like the Lamborghini, and so we have to have to compete like all the others. So this means we need a very good package. Yep. Uh, so, other questions. Uh, so, the Esprit is supposed to come out in 2013. So, can we expect to see perhaps testing prototypes running around the world perhaps in 2012? Yeah, for sure. We even start earlier. You know? Okay. So, uh, I think next year we, ha we will see you know, the first prototypes. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like the shape of the Esprit, but prototypes yep. like. Uh, like, we, like all the companies do. Yep. With a different body, but this. Maybe we buy a different car, whatever it is, yep. you know, and say, okay, we put the power train inside, and yep. electronics, and run this thing, you know, and at the end of the day, when we have the body yep. in white, you know, up front with the outer shape of the car, then we put all these things together, and yep. then we go out for testing. And we started, you know, when, we were, when I worked at AMG, we were so often in America, every year we are here, you know, almost as very tasting and mine. And then at the end of the day, we always reached here uh, and as the end point, you know, mm -hmm. and then go back to the Germans and watch almost every every year trip about four weeks to yeah. in, in the States, you know, that we really, because your fuel uh, uh, quality is different, mm -hmm. your driving behavior is different, everything is yep. so different. So we have to test this here in, in America, otherwise yep. you can't do it, you know. Yep. So, and, but we will be in South Africa, in Spain, in Norway, in Sweden, in, 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 in our test tracks here, yep. in, in Germany, of course, in NATO for high speed and in South Italy. Yep. So we will, of course, use the complete range of test tracks around the world. Excellent. 
So speaking about powertrains that you mentioned earlier, could you give us a little more information as to what powertrains you plan to use in-house, perhaps source elsewhere, yeah. if you can tell us that is. Yeah, it's not so easy to tell something. Uh, yeah. Uh, to, uh, to be honest, but on the other side, of course, what, what, what we are now doing, you know, again, our, our key figures are loaded as lightweight design and uh, and we need cars, you know, or we have to make cars which uh, are different to our competitors, of course. Uh, and on the other side, of course, we, we have this relationship with Toyota on one side, but it's, it's not only sticking to the relationships. What we do now at the moment is we're looking for, uh, let me say, powertrain solutions. Yep. It gives us the possibility to compete with our competitors. Yep. And this means there is, uh, of course, we'll be talking to different companies, you know, it's not only Toyota. And of course, what we only also do is we talk about Eastbound engines for the loaders, you know. And the same is for gearbox and all the things of really peaceful, uh, uh, complete power train for loaders that could be possible. You know, it's, it's not clear at the moment, but it will be figured out in the next two two months at least. Okay. Yeah, we look forward to hearing from them. And I guess as a final question, one of the things that Lotus owners have always been famous for is taking our cars to the track, which we love to do. Yeah. Is there a plan to perhaps have a supporting plan for the car, for these future yeah, cars yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think uh, we will be doing this um, even more than today. And yeah. I think uh, the plans like we heard before, you know, is uh, racing and, and of course it's high categories. That is what we are doing, of course. But, but that is a custom, uh, uh, customer racing and all these things. But, I think we, we start also with that, you know, maybe with programs, teaching schools and all yep. these things, you know. Of course we will do this in Europe, but I think this will be also uh, rolled out here uh, in, in America because that is, that is what it's all about, you know. Yep. Is, uh, all these uh, uh, Lotus clubs in England and in Germany and here in America, they are so strong and this is our brand, you know, this is our, our, our soul. Yep. Excellent. Well, thanks, Wolf. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. It's wonderful to hear about a little more of the engineering that's going to go behind this and it makes us feel good about the future of Lotus. Thank you so much. It's good for me as well and I hope we have a lot of meetings maybe in the next few years. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. Thank you.